Uh, by profession, I'm a naturopath and I work in my personal healthcare clinic, which I call Balance. And before working as a naturopath, I actually worked as a sports uh, therapist and sports specialist, uh, always working with patients in the orthopedic field and in the, in the internal organ field with he uh, heart patients and so forth. For me, it was always very, very important to keep in mind that I, as a therapist, only have a certain amount of time with the patient. So the simpler the therapy is and the more easy it can be incorporated also into everyday life, the better for the patient and at the same time giving homework to the patient so they can work for themselves, balance themselves in, uh, in addition to the treatments I would be giving them. And so that is how I came across the Body Talk system in 1995. I had met John Weltheim, the founder of the Body Talk system in 1993. And uh, ever since that moment, basically, Body Talk has been part of whatever I use on patients. And it's a beautiful approach because it takes the whole patient into consideration. It's a holistic approach. With Body Talk, we have a very complementary and integrative approach. That means it's also helping other modalities. Uh, to work better and uh, so there's no contradiction or conflict of interest uh, when working with the patient. In the quantum physics and philosophical approach it's very very important to tap into the informational field and to um, dissolve the underlying causes which could be very complex. It could have uh, relationships with viral or bacterial infections that may be present in the system, some inherited or genetic factors, environmental factors, emotional factors. So there's lots of possibilities for causes of diseases. And uh, the beauty is when I have this, this uh, consciousness-based approach, you know, we can address that very specifically and very deeply. A lot of people who work also in the natural healthcare field don't have a holistic, it looks holistic because it's natural approach, but they also still use the Cartesian model because they go from the symptom and try to get rid of the symptom and forget about the causes. And that's an unfortunate scenario, which we hope uh, you will understand how important it is to look at the causal factors. Body talk is a holistic approach and it takes the the word says it already, it takes the whole patient into consideration, so not just his symptoms. The most important part is to also look at the causes of a symptom. So that means sometimes I have to look into the history, the child of a person, the environmental factors that may be influencing him, the body chemistry, any toxins that there are in the system. So these are all very, very important factors when you're treating a patient. You cannot just go symptomatic. So specific areas in the body that may be addressed is also the, the joint of the jaw and the spine and, and uh, because these are key areas for healing or even for imbalances in the body. So we have to look at them and specifically the brain function obviously as well. I as a therapist feel it is very important that I walk my talk. So that means in my everyday life, in my personal life, I you know, try to implement, implement as much as possible holistic approaches too. So for my house, my garden, my own personal health. And I try to obviously help my patients with this too. So it's about drinking the right water, it's about nutrition, it's about movement, it's about, you know, basically approach to life, general outlook on life. And that is what I feel is very, very important from uh, a holistic perspective. So a statement of Hippocrates. Natural forces within us are the true healers of disease. So that means also in body talk, you know, I as a body talk practitioner can only assist a patient's healing. I can be there, support, consult, but the true healing has to come from within. And uh, so when I'm working with the priorities in body talk and doing the links and the tapping and all of that, that's basically uh, supporting the self-healing and self-regulation rating processes that are happening all the time. It is important to understand that not the practitioner is doing the healing on the client. So when someone comes to me and says, please, please heal me, I can't do that. I can only assist whatever the natural processes are. And that is always important to remember, no matter whether you go to a body talk practitioner, to a natural healthcare practitioner, or even to a medical doctor. This is a Chinese saying, if you want to bring order to the country, you have to first bring order to the provinces. If you want to bring order to the provinces, you first have to bring order to the cities. 
if you want to bring order to the cities, you have to first bring order to the families. And if you want to bring order to the families, you first have to bring order to yourself. So this is what Body Talk is about. You start with yourself. We can blame everyone in our environment, the whole environment, people making us fearful, stressed, worried, angry, whatever. But the question is why is it happening? Why am I reacting and overreacting all the time? So all I have to do is focus on myself, try to be as centered and neutral and uninvolved as possible, focus on my potential, my natural healing powers, and then the environment will not have such a strong effect on me anymore. And actually through my centeredness, I can have a balancing and healing effect on the environment. The Body Talk system is uh, consciousness-based healthcare, or as the philosophers say, consciousness is all there is. When we talk about innate in the Body Talk system, it basically refers to the consciousness aspect. Innate is something overall, and uh, when we talk about the innate wisdom, it is a localized consciousness referring to the individual patient or client we're working with. And in a body talk session it is very important to have access to the individual consciousness, the innate wisdom, and also to enable the energy flow between the individual consciousness and the universal consciousness for the, to access the potential of healing and self-healing. So I'm now going to ask your body what we're supposed to be doing. And when your arm is moving like that, then your body is saying yes. And I'm looking for priorities, not for problems, because the, in body talk we're looking for the energy flow in the body. We're trying to improve that. All body parts are supposed to be communicating. And then well-being can improve. The no is an answer from the body, and the yes, just the same. And that's going like this all the time. I'm asking the body, it's called body talk, and then the body tells me what to do, so it's replying. Once we have found all the priorities that need to communicate better, the different links, as we say in body talk, we would take our hands and uh, put them in the different body positions. And then the actual body talk treatment is very simple. Basically, what we have to do is do a simple ta tapping technique and procedure on the skull and also on the sternum. The tapping on the skull is actually tapping on the brain. It's the main focus on the brain. And what has, it's an ancient technique, which is coming from the yoga perspective. And uh, what has been found out is that basically the brain has to regulate all the processes in the body and wants to do that with the help of the innate wisdom. So tapping here, whilst we're highlighting the priorities, is actually increasing the brain activity and the self-regulating activity in the body. And then what needs to happen is all this information has to be stored via the heart center. So that's why we're tapping on the sternum and the heart will then send the information to all the cells in the body. Mm -hmm.